what, what many of our young people face. I'm aware of the sacrifices that will go on for decades in the future. I'm aware of the courage that it takes. And I will tell you the most important thing that can go on in anyone's life when they have a significant injury is you all right here today. When a community opens up and figuratively folds its arms around the family and around the one who's been wounded, I will guarantee it holds you together mentally, physically, and spiritually. And so today, I'm just here to say that I went to Iraq four different times to say to our young men and women, thank you, and I know what you're doing because I spent the better part of three years in Vietnam myself. I understand what we're asking you to do, and I want to thank you personally. Now my last, thank you very much, appreciate that. And all those trips in, the last trip was one that really sticks in my mind. We were going into to Baghdad in a C-130, and about eight or 10 congressmen, and then we had soldiers, about 30 soldiers, and right across from me, because in the C-130 you're flying this way, but you sit facing each other, and right across from me was a young lady, probably 24 or 25. She had on her flak helmet, I had on a flak helmet. She had on her flak vest, I had on my flak vest. She had an M16, and they knew better than to give us uh, congressmen M16. <laughs> so I, I looked and I saw her computer, and I said, first of all, I wrote a note in my book, it's too noisy to talk, I wrote a note in my notebook, that said, thank you for your service. She writes immediately back saying, I'm a soldier and it is an honor to serve. It's a 25-year-old girl from Chicago, Illinois. Then I saw her laptop and I said, show me your laptop, show me your screensaver because I knew it's going to have her kid on there. She opens it up and with a big smile, shows me it's her and her two-year-old daughter. And now I wrote into my diary and hands it back and said, wow, what sacrifice. Thank you. Not even a second. She writes back in there, I'm a soldier and I am honored to serve this country. That's the kind of young men and women that we have. God bless every family here for supporting those who are suffering right now. God bless you. Thank you very much.